Hello everyone, welcome back to Euro Channel. I'm Stefan Bundrock and today we are tackling a topic that affects many people. Overactive bladder or OAB. We'll explore effective treatments, lifestyle changes and practical tips to help manage this condition. Let's dive in. Is OAB a common condition? You bet. In the US, it is estimated that 16.5% of the population are affected. Women are a bit more likely to suffer from it, but the most important promoter is age. Over the age of 65, up to 40% are subjected to symptoms of an overactive bladder. Urgency is the lead symptom of an overactive bladder. This means that you feel a sudden desire to void. As hard as you try, you can't suppress it. Very often, the bladder muscle is the bad guy here. It starts to contract abruptly. The increasing pressure in your bladder causes urinary urgency. In overactive bladder syndrome, one has to exclude conditions that can trigger this. For instance, bladder infections, bladder outlet obstruction, or even bladder cancer. Most of the time, however, the underlying cause will remain elusive. Research suggests that oxidative stress and a decrease in the blood supply to the bladder may be responsible for this condition. Now, let's talk about lifestyle changes that can help manage OAB. First and foremost, watching your diet is crucial. Certain foods and drinks can irritate the bladder, making symptoms worse. Caffeine, found in coffee, tea, and some sodas is a common culprit. Alcohol can also exacerbate symptoms. Spicy foods and artificial sweeteners are other irritants. On the flip side, staying hydrated is important, but it's all about balance. Drinking too much water at once can overwhelm your bladder. Spread your fluid intake throughout the day instead. Maintaining a healthy weight can also help. Extra weight puts pressure on your bladder, which can worsen OAB symptoms. Regular physical activity can aid in weight management and overall bladder health. So here's a very effective trick you can do to suppress urgency. Rub your earlobe and concentrate on this action. It will inhibit the signals from your bladder within the spinal cord. I have many patients who report back to me that this actually works. However, the mainstay of treatment in OIB syndrome is anticholinergics. They are very effective against an overactive bladder muscle. However, this often comes at a price. The medications affect the cholinergic system of the body. The cholinergic system is a part of the nervous system that uses a chemical called acetylcholine to send messages between nerve cells. It plays a crucial role in various bodily functions, including muscle movement, memory, and learning. This system is active in both the brain and the body, helping to control everything from heart rate to digestion. Problems with the cholinergic system are linked to conditions like Alzheimer's disease and certain types of muscle disorders. So, Typical problems with anticholinergics are dry mouth or constipation. In the elderly, one has to be very careful and stay away from preparations that cross the blood-brain barrier because it may affect cognitive function. Other treatment options include Botox, for example. It is injected directly into the bladder wall from the inside using a small optical device that is inserted through the urethra. This procedure helps relax the bladder muscle reducing urgency and frequency. is generally effective for several months, but it needs to be repeated periodically. The most exciting option for me personally is shockwaves. It is not a standard treatment yet, but it is very promising. I have uploaded several videos on shockwaves. In urology, they are traditionally used to treat erectile dysfunction, but pelvic pain is an indication on the rise and now overactive bladder. I just did a treatment on a patient suffering from multiple sclerosis. He has to use a wheelchair and using a bathroom is a real burden to him. Bladder overactivity is one of the problems in multiple sclerosis. He had this problem and urinary incontinence in addition to that. After a few weekly sessions, his urinary symptoms got really better. 
Instead of going to the bathroom three times at night, he went down to having to go once every three nights. I was very surprised at how fast he improved. In the scientific literature, there are a few small studies on the effects of shockwaves on OAB. In a study from Taiwan, they looked at 82 patients with OAB. They received eight weekly sessions with 3000 pulses directly onto the bladder. At week eight, they not only had increased their bladder capacity, but also frequency, urgency, and nocturia were significantly decreased. The good thing about shark waves is that it doesn't involve any medication and is virtually free from any side effects. This makes it an attractive option for those who prefer non-invasive treatments. OAB can lower quality of life significantly. It can affect sleep, work, and social interactions. But there are many ways to manage it. If you experience any symptoms like urgency, frequency, or incontinence, please see your local urologist. They can help find a solution that works for you. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.